And then I think I just hit a rock bottom point where I was like, I'm about to either leave school or go get therapy. And so for me, I, almost not having a choice was the thing that helped me. But I didn't know either. Like that was, we didn't talk about that in high school and middle school growing up, but you didn't go to therapy. That was, I didn't even know what that was. My friend Ginny and I started Butterfly Road in October of 2020. So we've been doing it for two and a half years now, which has been very rewarding. If I were just to describe it, I would say it's a lighthearted podcast that talks about something that's very serious, which is mental illness and mental health, specifically in athletics. Not every episode is about serious stuff. I mean, we range from like, bringing on a guest athlete to tell his or her story, ranging from like, I was injured to I was suicidal. Mental health is important to me because I've struggled a lot, more so once I got to college, I really struggled with the transition and I've, um, that's when I started going to therapy. And then I think from there, I was just like, wait, if I'm struggling and I'm a really strong person. There has to be someone else that's struggling too. So that's when I, I was like, okay, you need to speak out to your teammates, kind of look for any signs and encourage people to go seek help as well. And just let them know that I found tools to help me and that there's no shame in it. And that's kind of, I think, what got the ball rolling of like, okay, you're, I guess, a mental health advocate in some form. And I think from there, I just started like taking stepping stones of like giving back to Notre Dame and speaking out to like acquire sports psychologists there or just like whatever I needed to do to help with that. And then I think that snowballed into like, okay, let's start a podcast. I, if someone's struggling, I would tell them, don't be afraid to seek help. Don't be afraid to go to a family member, a friend or a coach because everybody struggles and you're not alone. And like I said before, I think relatability and vulnerability that builds connection. And there is in no, in no area of life should you ever hold it in. You need to lean on others for support. And so sometimes I forget my own advice, but it's really important to not bottle things up and to just speak out about how you feel because there's people that love you and want to help you and maybe have some tools or guidance that can kind of get you through what you're going through.